Hi, and welcome to episode 16 of the Carla Knits podcast. Today is Friday, June 11th, and I'm so excited to be back with you all this week for another episode of Knitting, Crocheting, and Crafty Chat. A particularly exciting episode announcement today. We have reached 400 subscribers on this podcast channel. So thank you so much to all of you who have uh, liked, subscribed, uh, commented on the videos. You know, I appreciate that so much. Uh, it's just really fun growing this channel. Um, I'm just, I'm just having a great time. So as I had announced last week, we were getting so close to 400 and we pushed over 400. And so I have a giveaway. Uh, this skein of yarn was so generously donated by Danny of Lumberjack Yarn on Etsy. Uh, this is a fingering weight skein of yarn in her Summer Preserves colorway. 80% uh, merino, 20% nylon, 437 yards. So Summer Preserves, I think that is so perfect. Uh, just those berry colors, strawberries and blueberries and blackberries. It just reminds me so much of, of all the summer summer fruit. Um, just really fun. And then, you know, I was thinking about summer fruit. Here I go off on a tangent. Uh, have any of you tried uh, making jams or jellies with your summer fruit? Um, that is one thing I have been so unsuccessful at. Um, I really would love to make, to, you know, to use that fresh summer fruit to make jams or jellies. Um, but I've tried several different recipes, you know, using that liquid pectin and my jams or jellies always turn out like sludge. I remember making some in a little jar and sticking my spoon in and the spoon like stuck straight up. It was sludge and you had to really scoop really hard to get that jelly out. So very unsuccessful. If you have any tips or recipes that you like that you have been successful at, with jams and jellies. I would love to hear about that. But getting back to the 400 subscriber giveaway. So I am hosting this giveaway on YouTube. You need to be a subscriber to this channel and just comment down below um, what your favorite summer activity is. Um, could be knitting and crocheting. Of course, you know, that's one of my, <laughs> my activities, but just comment down below. So be a subscriber, comment down below and I will leave this open for two weeks or until two episodes from now. So we're on episode 16, so I will wait till episode 18. I will draw right before I film episode 18 uh, using a random generator, number generator, uh, from the comments that are below this video. So you have a couple weeks to, uh, to comment. So, and a chance to win this beautiful skein of yarn. So again, thank you, Danny, for this beautiful skein of yarn and good luck guys. All right. Uh, you can find me on social media. I am CB Crafty Girl on, uh, sorry, on Ravelry and on Instagram. And we do have a podcast group on Ravelry for Carla Knits. Uh, currently, uh, we have a Spring Stripes Mal going on, so Spring Stripes Make Along going on in the podcast group. Uh, this is anything you make with stripes, uh, cast on, chained on, sewn, <laughs> starting May 1st, and it ends June 20th. So we're on the 11th, so there's, there's another week to get something in. Um, for those of you who are making something with your stripes make sure you get your uh picture in to that finished object thread there are several items in there already um it's fun seeing what you all are making uh, i shared last week i believe the prizes for that make along so there's still a chance to uh there's not a whole lot of entries so chances are good to win a prize so if you'd like to join in and make something stripey that would be great I will be closing that thread. I had said uh, it goes through the 20th. The 20th is Father's Day, so I won't be closing the thread then. I will probably close it on the 21st. So uh, you have a little bit of time to still make something stripey or to get those, those uh, finished object photos into that thread. All right, let's see. Uh, I have one tiny finished object today. 
very tiny finished object. <laughs> uh, this is the Tool Kitchen Scrubby by Nitty Natty or Love and Stitches. Uh, this is a free pattern on Ravelry. It's a crochet pattern. Uh, this week uh, in my knitting group, we've been meeting virtually. We still continue to meet virtually. Uh, this is a knitting group that uh, we have been meeting together since uh, 2013. Um, so I think there's six of us in the group right now. And we, we got to be talking about, we were talking about scrubbies and we were talking about um, Plarn, plastic yarn. Uh, some of you may know about crocheting, taking plastic bags and crocheting them into um, mats. Uh, and I have tried doing that before, um, very hard on the hands. And then I, I, had, I have wanted to try this for a while. It was very, very hard on the hands. The pattern is super simple. The ending result is very nice. Um, but so hard on the hands. I had bought this, I was gonna say yarn, but this three inch tool at uh, Hobby Lobby last summer. And I'm glad I didn't stock up on a whole bunch because sometimes I get so excited about something and I just go and buy a bunch, but I bought two, two spools of this. Um, and you can get uh, at least two from, from one spool. So. I only made one. I love the result, but it was very hard on the hands. So I definitely will space out and, and not make another one for a while. Um, so I don't know if any of you have tried making these. Um, I really like it. I wish it wasn't so hard on, on the hands and fingers, but, but it was. Um, yeah, I guess that's, <laughs> that's it, but a cute, a cute little, little kitchen scrubby yeah all right uh going into whips excuse me it's really hot here in nebraska it has been very humid we've had temperatures in the 90s this week uh today is a nice it's it's a little bit nicer it it actually rained um, or is raining this morning. Um, so the temperatures are going to be a little bit cooler, but still very humid. So, but going into whips, uh, I have this bag by uh, Ginger Root Bags on Etsy. And in this, I have my Autumn League Pullover. This is a sweater by Two of Wands. And I showed the beginning progress of this last week. And this is not the easiest to hold up, but this is where I am at. And I hope you can see, I hope this looks like something right now. Uh, so this, this is the top. This little X is the center, the center. Uh, you will go, or I will go back later to pick up stitches to make the neck band. So right now it looks very wide. Um, but picking up the neck band, that ribbing will, will cinch it in. The yarn that I am using is Lion Brand Cotton Jeans Yarn. It's the LB Collection. It's 100% cotton. It is so nice to work with. Um, if you have not worked with this and are interested in a good summer cotton for a garment. This is really nice. It is a DK weight yarn. It has been so soft and lovely to work with. I had bought this yarn uh, in 2018 and I don't, I don't know if you can get this exact color um, anymore. This is, this is a little deeper than what I see on the website, but I could be, I could be wrong. So this is a pretty dark navy with those white flex in there. So I had originally bought this to crochet a sweater um, and that kind of got put on the back burner. So when the Strings Attached podcast, hi Mallory and Frida, announced that they were going to do a knit along for this sweater, I thought this is perfect since I have this yarn in my stash. So I have seven skeins. That is what is needed for the size I am knitting. So I thought it would be really fun and perfect to do this. I have never knit a cotton sweater before. Um, I was not exactly sure how it 
how it would be to knit with cotton, but this is really nice. This is not like your uh, dishcloth cotton. You know, I've used a lot of the, was it the Lily or Sugar and Cream or Peaches and Cream? Um, that's definitely a rougher cotton, but this, this is really soft. So I am absolutely enjoying this. I am fairly close uh, to being ready to split for the sleeves, maybe 10 or 12 more rows uh, and then I will be ready to split for those those sleeves. So pretty good progress for a week on that. Um, yeah, and they are running this uh, knit along, the girls from Strings Attached, uh, June 1st through August 31st. So hopefully plenty of time to, to finish the sweater uh, if I don't get involved in too many other projects, but I really am enjoying this, so. Uh, yeah, I think that's it for that Autumn League pullover. Um, yeah. Okay, let's get into some some more whips. Uh, I, I said that we were having a Spring Stripes make-along, and I have been working on a couple of projects for the make-along. This is my Sweet Blossom blanket. Let's see. It is getting very long. So where... <laughs> <laughs> where that that stitch marker is can you see that if I wiggle it a little bit that is the progress I have made since last week so the white section pink greenish all the way up that is the that is the progress and if I stand up a little bit I can show you how long this actually is so hopefully, hopefully you can see that. I am, I am getting so close. I am really excited. So this, this pattern was divided into five different sections. It was a crochet along that was being hosted by Sirdar Yarn Company. I should say this pattern is by Sweet Pea Family Crochet. Uh, and she has some very lovely crochet patterns. So I would definitely encourage checking, checking her out. So I believe it's Sweet Pea Family Crochet on Instagram. Um, but it was divided into five parts. So the first four parts were the, the length of the blanket, and then the fifth part will be the border. So I had really, really hoped to get all done with part four for this week, but I am eight rows, eight rows away from being finished with the length of the blanket. So I am really excited about that. Um, each week introduced a new stitch, and this week's stitch was the puff stitch. So that was really fun. I have done that before in a crochet project, not for a while, but that was that was really fun um, to, do, to do that new stitch. So I am so close to being, <laughs> to being done with the length. Uh, the border, the border of this blanket is 10 rounds. So that is going to take some time to get the border of the blanket. You know, I was so excited when I saw how close I was to finishing section four. And I thought, well, maybe I will actually get this done, you know, in the time frame of this spring stripes make along, but that border is going to take a while, I think. And the border has the different textures. You know, this, this blanket is all about the different sections and the different textures. That border also contains, you know, it's not just one stitch all the way around. It's, uh, it's different stitches per, per round. So that, that will take some time, but I am getting there. I'm gonna say this, I hope to be done with this by the end of June. Fingers crossed, <laughs> send me some good, good crochet thoughts. So hopefully I can get that done, but I'm really excited uh, to have that progress. Uh, the yarn I used is Sheepy's Crafter, I was gonna say cotton, no. Color Crafter, Sheepy's Color Crafter. It's a DK weight, 100% acrylic yarn. Uh, it has been really soft, really nice uh, to work with. It says, you know, anti-pill, so it's supposed to hopefully hold up a little a little better. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited with how that's that's going. It's a really nice, fun, bright set of stripes to, to be working on. My next work in progress is also a stripey 
stripey uh, project. This is my second sock of the heel toe do -si do socks. I did not have this uh, on as of, or I did not have this second sock started as of last week's episode. So uh, since last week, I have uh, this much progress and I have the heel flap and gusset. So I'm really excited with the progress I'm making on this. So the heel toe do -si do pattern is by the crazy sock lady, Kay Litton. Uh, you can see the front has the pattern, so it kind of a uh, chevron pattern, and then the back is just plain stockinette, so you can see how the stripes work up both ways. This yarn is by Dye For You, and the, the colorway is uh, Cozy Up With Jojo, uh, which is based on the podcast Cozy Up Knitting Sisters. Um, a lot of you are familiar with that cozy up knitting sisters and Jojo is actually the mom of the the four the four girls so really really fun colorway I am really enjoying how this works up it is my goal my hope to get this done uh, this this week um, so I have this sock on the needles uh, last week I showed the finished sock for the Belladonna sock pattern uh, so that sock, the first sock is finished. I just barely cast on for the second one. I think I have two, maybe three rounds of the ribbing. So I need to work on that sock also. Uh, so hopefully maybe a finished sock and some good progress on that Belladonna sock. I'm, I'm hoping for this week. Uh, the Crazy Sock Lady is hosting Summer Sock Camp, and I, I get so excited about Summer Sock Camp. Um, so it's socks that you cast on starting June 1st. So this sock and the Belladonna sock were you know cast on earlier, so I cannot count those socks in that, in that knit along. Um, and I'm so anxious to participate. And I've really wanted to cast something on, but I know myself and I think it was like around Christmas time or maybe it was Christmas into January and February. I had three sock whips, um, you know, active sock whips and that was too much for me, too much. So I just told myself two, two is about what you can handle. So that, that is the reason I want to get, you know, this sock done because I really want to cast on for summer, summer sock camp. Uh, so I will be joining the Magic Loop camp when I when I do that. Uh, I have yarn picked out. I have my bag picked picked out. So this is my a really summery fun bag. It has the anchor fabric up top because you know we like to sail, and then such cute summer fabric with bathing suits and flip flops and sunglasses. And there's little. Um, suntan lotion, uh, just really cute sun hat, really cute. This is by Lila Lovely on Etsy. Uh, so she has bags in her shop and she also has some hand dyed yarn in her shop. Um, so I just thought this was a really cute bag and I really was drawn to it. Uh, summer fabric and, and the anchors because of, of sailing. So this is the bag I'm going to use. I got my Crazy Sock Lady pin, enamel pin in the mail this week. So I'm really excited about that. It says Summer Sock Camp 2021. And I'm sure a lot of you have already seen that. So that, that will go on my bag. And then the yarn I picked, I'm probably going to do a shorty sock. Uh, you know, generally I make longer socks, at least at least six inch, um, you know, legs on my socks, but I do have a few shorties and I really do enjoy those. So it's, it would be good to do that for, for this summer. So I have this beautiful yarn. This is by the Woolen Homestead. And I, I just like, I need something with pink, pink. <laughs> so this, this will be the main body. This will be, uh, probably the cuffs and the toes. This skein of yarn is by the Woolen Homestead. 
um, which I absolutely loved. Tiffany and Ethan's yarns, just beautiful. So Woolen Homestead, this is a few years old, so this is from Stash. This colorway was originally called Atop the Ferris Wheel, which I thought was just a darling name, and then she renamed it County Fair Sunset, which is equally as fun of a colorway name. Um, so pinks and purples, um, I just love that. And then I am going to do the contrast with, uh, this is Knit Pick Stroll Fingering in the Pucker colorway. So very fun and bright. So very Carla with the pink uh, in there. So I'm really anxious, really anxious to cast this on. So hope to get, hope to get that heel toe do -si do sock done. And then I'm just going to cast on a plain vanilla stockinette sock uh, using these yarns. So stay tuned for hopeful progress on that. So with our spring stripes make along that is quickly coming to an end. Uh, it has really been fun, um, you know, talking with some of you and seeing some stripey projects and I've enjoyed working on my own stripe stripey projects. Um, I've, you know, kind of been thinking, okay, what do I want to do next? Uh, I love Christmas and usually I, by this point in the year, would already have a couple of Christmas gifts knit or crochet up and I don't think I have any. I did a couple gift knits for my mom and my sister, Laura for you know Mother's Day and birthday. Hi mom, I know you're watching. Um, but now I'm like, I gotta get started on, on some Christmas gift knitting. So there are you know a few people that I really like to make things for for Christmas. Um, my mom <laughs> and Jeff. And uh, so my mom and Jeff are definitely the top ones that I would like to get something made for. And then, um, a couple others possibly. So I am going to start a knit along, not knit along, I'm going to say make along, and I'm going to call this uh, Merry Make Along 2021. I am going to run this from July 1st, so thinking Christmas in July. So July 1st through August 31st. Uh, this will be in the Ravelry group. I will open a thread when it gets closer to the time. Uh, a chatter thread and a finished object thread. So this is anything, so Merry Make Along, this is anything uh, you might make for a gift for somebody for Christmas or if you would like to make something for yourself for Christmas. So this could be, you know, a Christmas pair of socks. If you want to make some Christmas socks now so you have them in December, that would be great. Or Christmas yarn to make a hat. Um, so either a gift for somebody or something Christmassy for yourself. Let's try to get some of, you know, some of the things off our list, you know, in these couple of months just to take some of the pressure off in December. So if you would like to join us, that would be great. I just wanted to announce it now. So maybe you could start, uh, think, start beginning to think about, um, what you might want to make or who you would like to make it for. Uh, if you make some Christmas socks, you sure can enter it in, you know, the crazy sock ladies, you know, summer sock camp. Uh, any, anything you make for, for, uh, my knit alongs, make alongs, you know, feel free to enter those in other make alongs as well. Um, yeah, so that will be Merry Make Along 2021. All right. Uh, if you are a maker and you would like to donate something for to the podcast uh, or specifically for the Merry Make Along, that would be great. Uh, bag maker yarn dyer, uh, stitch, stitch markers, you know, I would greatly appreciate any donations uh, to that make along. Uh, thank you to those who have donated um, uh, previously for, uh, for, sorry, I'm really being tongue tied here. Uh, yarn for giveaways and pattern designs. Thank you to the, thank you to you who have already donated. We really, or I really appreciate it. All right, sorry, that was a little a little tongue tied there. I think I have shown all of my projects, just a little bit of chatter. 
it has been very, very, very hot <laughs> here in Nebraska. Um, we have had temperatures in the 90s. My daughter has her first summer job as a lifeguard at our local pool. Um, so I've really felt for her being out in that that hot sun, but she is doing really well with that. Uh, Jeff and I have gone sailing a few times, so we've enjoyed some trips to the lake. Uh, we have been trying to do good about getting up early in the morning and going walking uh, just before the heat of the day really sets in. Uh, this morning we, we started our walk and the sky was getting really gray and cloudy and the thunder started. So we, we kind of shortened our walk this morning so we could make it home. Um, and we did make it home. Uh, and then it kind of, the skies opened up and it poured, which is really good because we have been... Uh, we have not had rain in a while, so it was really nice to have that rain uh, this morning. Uh, other than that, uh, trying to keep cool, and I enjoy sitting in my basement. This is where I film, down in our basement, so really nice and cool down here, and so I sit and crochet and knit down here quite frequently during the summer. So. I think, I think that is all for this week. So I would love it if you would like and subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to comment on the episode if you would like to enter for a chance to win this beautiful skein of yarn. I will hold it open for two weeks and then draw on uh, right before episode 18. So with that, I hope you all are doing well. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.